Hey guys, I'm Lauren Gregg with Fuji Bikes. I'm on my way down from Crankworx Whistler and I've stopped in Bellingham, Washington at the home of Tony Bowman. Tony is responsible for Made Rad by Tony, his custom painting and airbrush designs company, and he's become famous in the mountain bike industry for some of the raddest custom frame and helmet paintings that I've ever seen. So, we're gonna say hi. Hey, how's it going? Hi guys! Tony and I haven't seen each other in a long time. We used to work together, so I'm super stoked to check out his studio. Come on in. Tool wall, uh, also shop area, sanding station, um, some, some stocked up paints, rest of the paints for the airbrush down here. Airbrushes, paint guns, compressor, big compressor. And you built all this yourself? Um, with some help from friends, for sure. <laughs> all right, want to show us where the magic happens? <laughs> all right. That is our brand new frame. So the reason that we're here working with Tony today is we have a completely all new redesigned Oric frame that we're so excited about. This is our most aggressive bike ever. The Geo, like I said, is completely redesigned from our old models. We're so excited about it. And what better way to celebrate than having Tony paint something super rad and custom? It's gonna be sweet, gonna be sweet. It's gonna be rad. How long have you been doing art? Uh, all my life, since I can remember. I've been drawing and painting and stuff. Um, didn't really set out to be a frame painting artist. Um, I like canvases and stuff just, just the same, uh, but I guess just kind of the crowd I was with and the people who were requesting stuff just wanted it to be on bike frames and helmets, so that's kind of where I did it. Riding bikes seriously, I'd say, since I was about 12 years old. Um, never really had the nicest bikes, but I always painted them, so they looked pretty nice. Uh, and then I guess that's kind of where it all snowballed. We're here in Bellingham, Washington, some of the best trails in the world, so of course I couldn't leave without taking Tony out on the bike that he's going to be painting. So I'm going to give him a little bit of a taste. He's going to show me his home trails. All right, trails right out your house. It's pretty sick. Yeah. So what is this? This is a local swimming hole just up from the house. Right there, this deep. This is so sick. I know, this is like a little tropical like oasis. This right is so sick. House. I might have to move to Bellingham. Yeah. So have, have you jumped off this before? Of course. Okay. So after every ride? Just about every ride. Going home, this is on the way. Why wouldn't you? Have a good time? Oh yeah. Sick, you gotta make the frame as sick as the bike is, all right? Okay, I can do that. Okay, sweet. <laughs> that was good to see you. You too. Great to see you too, and I cannot wait to see the frame. I'm so excited. He's going to paint the frame. I don't know what's going to be, and uh, he'll send it down for you, so a little bit of a surprise, which is rad. Now for the long drive home. I'm going to have fun with that. Well, thank you for showing me Bellingham. I'm going to come back and visit soon. <laughs> yeah, bye. Hey,
I'm back here in Reno and the frame has finally showed up. Tony's been working on it for the past couple weeks and I haven't seen it, so I'm so excited to check it out. Little note from Tony. You guys ready? Got an 80s vibe going on. Check this out. It's like Christmas. We ready to see this thing? Couple more layers. Outrageous. <laughs> the Miami Vice Fuji Oric. Made rad by Tony. This thing is unbelievably sick. It looks so rad. Speedboat on our 80s frame. The all new Fuji Oric. Miami Vice Edition, made rad by Tony. <laughs> <laughs>